During Investor Day event, Tesla shared a picture of a vehicle parked on top of a wireless charging platform in a garage. When a presentation from Tesla's head of global charging infrastructure, Rebecca Tanucci included a slide that showed an image of a model as parked over what appeared to be an inductive charging pad hinting that the company may be looking to head in that direction. Now, Tesla has officially acquired a wireless charging company based in Germany, which could have major implications for the future of its vehicle charging efforts. In the rapidly evolving landscape of electric vehicles, Tesla has emerged as a front-runner, not only in terms of vehicle technology, but also in creating an expansive and efficient charging network. As the automotive industry shifts towards electrification, Tesla's visionary approach to charging infrastructure has positioned the company miles ahead of its competitors. Moreover, rumors were circulating for quite some time about Tesla's foray into wireless charging technology, potentially revolutionizing how EVs are powered. Now, Tesla has acquired German wireless charging company Wifarian, as reported by Tesla Rati and a number of other outlets. The news comes after the acquisition was rumored in June, initially being reported by German publications. Then, a confirmation came this week following the public filing in Germany, in which Wifarian wrote that the company would be selling to Tesla International, the automaker's Netherlands-based engineering subsidiary. Wifarian specializes in contactless charging and energy systems with an inductive charging solution for autonomous driverless transport systems in an industrial setting such as warehousing. Wifarian is the leading supplier solutions for the mobile wireless power supply for industrial trucks, autonomous guided vehicles, and autonomous mobile robots, the company said in a recent press release. The company was founded. According to a report in the Robot Report by four former researchers from the Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems, its first product was the Enelink 3000, a contactless inductive charger for industrial vehicles that works with any type of battery. Wifferon has experience in developing and manufacturing inductive charging systems and has primarily provided its solutions to transport systems, forklifts, and robots. Squire Sisla acquired the company. Updates made to the German commercial registry indicate that it will now have an increased focus on products and services in the field of power electronics and other technical disciplines to support the advancement of electric vehicles and stationary energy storage systems and devices. Tesla has been actively developing a wireless charging solution for their electric vehicles for over a year, and this acquisition could help push the product over the finish line. During the Investor Day presentation, the company discreetly showcased a wireless induction charger in action with a Model S inside a residential garage. According to reports, the acquisition has officially been completed, and the update can already be seen on Wifarian's website. The shareholders intend to sell their shares in the company to Tesla International by B by means of a purchase agreement, Wifarian wrote in a public filing. Wifarian last year made a licensing deal with Witricity, a company that used a Tesla Model 3 to promote its wireless charging technology. The licensing deal officially allowed Wifarian to enter the U.S. and North American markets overall. Just on with Wifarian, a number of other companies have attempted to begin developing their own wireless charging platforms for electric vehicles, notably including U.S.-based company Wave Charging. Wave expressed plans in the past to create a wireless charging platform specifically for the Tesla Semi, as well as other commercial-sized vehicles, not yet clear. Power and Tesla plans to begin deploying Wiferian's wireless charging technology, though we can assume that it will be used for its vehicles at some point in the future. Additionally, many outlets have reported that the wireless charging system could be used to autonomously charge Tesla's Optimus robots which Elon Musk has said will begin working in the automaker's factories as soon as next year, still. It's also not clear whether Tesla will use the wireless chargers at its supercharger stations, as home charging equipment, or at other locations entirely. While the equipment is considered to wirelessly charge vehicles at a fast rate, it also seems unlikely that the hardware could be as efficient as Tesla's wired equipment at superchargers. In any case, the future of wireless charging likely comes as a warm welcome for Tesla users, even if it may still be years before the hardware is publicly deployed. For heavy adoption to succeed, the charging infrastructure needs vast improvement. 
The Tesla Supercharger Network is by far the best EV charging solution right now when comparing reliability, quantity, and ease of use to other networks. Granted, the Supercharger Network was exclusive to Tesla vehicles for most of its life, but that it's slowly starting to change with superchargers, using magic dock adapters so that non-Tesla vehicles can access them. Some automakers have even entered agreements with Tesla to use NAX charging ports on their vehicles starting in 2025. Squire Sisla acquired the company. Updates made to the German commercial registry indicate that it will now have an increased focus on products and services in the field of power electronics and other technical disciplines to support the advancement of electric vehicles and stationary energy storage systems and devices. Tesla has been open about its recent development of wireless charging solutions for its EVs, and it is widely assumed that it will leverage Wiferon's expertise in the field to improve its own system. For starters, wireless charging for EVS is still in the early stages and can't exceed level 2 charging speeds yet, so at the moment they wouldn't be an improvement on the wired superchargers. Secondly, Tesla hasn't even rolled out the magic dock to all of its chargers yet, so it will be quite some time before it could even begin to install wireless charging pads. We suspect that Tesla's focus for wiring is to revamp its home charging units. This is something Tesla already teased back in March during its Investor's Day presentation when the automaker displayed an image showing a Tesla parked over a wireless charging pad inside of a garage. Currently, the max power of a wired Tesla wall charger at 240 volts is 11.5 kW. Some wireless EV chargers can go up to 20 kWi. There is real potential for Tesla to develop a more powerful and more convenient at-home charging solution through Wiferayer. Both companies are staying fairly quiet on the acquisition, so we don't have any official details yet about Tesla's plans for the company. We expect Elon Musk will share more at next year's Tesla Investor Day, if not sooner. This is not new territory for Tesla as the company is known to use technologies from various industries in its vehicles such as the materials engineering capabilities borrowed from SpaceX to manufacture various drivetrain and structural components of its vehicles. It would be interesting to see what a home and workplace wireless solution from Tesla could look like in the coming years, but the acquisition of Wiferian is looking like a promising start. Wifron has very good experience in developing and manufacturing inductive charging systems and has primarily provided its solutions to transport systems, forklifts, and robots. Squire Sisla acquired the company. Word of Tesla's latest acquisition comes shortly after car makers, including the BMW Group, General Motors, Honda, Hyundai, Kia, Mercedes Benz Group, and Stellantis, announced a joint venture to create a charging network in North America to challenge Tesla's superchargers. The plan calls for at least 30,000 chargers to be established across the US, Cheese, and Canada with CCS and X plugs. A minimum of 350 kW charging speeds and maximum speeds of 400 kW. None of the critical concerns surrounding EV adoption has been range anxiety and the availability of charging stations. Tesla addressed this issue by developing its own proprietary supercharger network. This charging infrastructure spans the globe and provides Tesla owners with fast and convenient charging capabilities, enabling them to cover vast distances without worry. The supercharger network's rapid charging speeds have significantly reduced the time required for recharging, making long journeys in an EV as feasible as traditional gasoline-powered vehicles. The success of Tesla's charging network has been due to strategic placement, consistent expansion, and innovative technology. With over 25,000 superchargers at over 2,700 stations across the world, Tesla has strategically situated these stations near popular travel routes, urban centers, and high traffic areas. This foresight has made long-distance travel in a Tesla seamless, mitigating range anxiety concerns for their drivers. Nibbling on its reputation for innovation, Tesla has been hinting at a potential game-changing development. Wireless charging, while still largely speculative, the concept of wireless charging for EVs holds immense promise. The idea revolves around the ability to charge vehicles without physical contact, eliminating the need for cables and connectors. Wireless charging could potentially involve the installation of charging pads embedded in roads or parking areas. When an EV equipped with compatible technology is parked over these pads, the vehicle's battery could begin to recharge wirelessly. This technology could revolutionize the convenience of EV charging.
making it as simple as parking over a charging pad during daily activities. Wireless charging has several potential advantages. First and foremost, it would eliminate the need for physical connectors. Reducing wear and tear on both vehicles and charging stations, it could also contribute to the aesthetic integration of charging infrastructure into urban environments. However, there are challenges to overcome, such as energy efficiency, alignment precision, and compatibility standards. Tesla's charging network has undeniably propelled the company to the forefront of the EV industry. The supercharger network's wide coverage and fast charging capabilities have set a new standard for electric vehicle charging infrastructure. While the prospect of wireless charging remains in the realm of speculation, Tesla's commitment to innovation suggests that they could be on the cusp of another groundbreaking development. If Tesla successfully ventures into wireless charging technology, it could redefine the way EVs are charged, further cementing the company's position as a pioneer in sustainable transportation. Thanks for watching. Until next time.